Hello, welcome back to Two Tool to Drive. Welcome to a new video. Um, I'm going to do this in two parts. So this is going to be part one and then part two will be later on in the week potentially. But I wanted to just summarize a few things because this is going in for its sixth year, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. It's sixth year service uh, tomorrow, uh, 94,000 miles, I think Jack said. Um, my car isn't on 94,000 miles, it's on 42,000 miles. Um, but there's a few things that I've highlighted to Jag about some problems. Now I do have warranty, but what that covers, I'm unsure. So if you've got an F-Type, comment below on some of the stuff I'm talking about and if you've had similar problems and if it was covered, because that'll help me when I'm going tomorrow. Um, if you're not already, do subscribe. I'm chasing a thousand subscribers. Um, I'd like to get there as soon as possible, but we'll see how it goes. That was kind of one of my goals for the YouTube channel, um, along with getting a manufacturer to lend me a car for a weekend. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're making progress nonetheless, but let's get straight into the video today. And I'm gonna highlight all the things that I'm highlighting to Jag as issues. Now, the first one makes the most sense is the engine. Now, I haven't actually had a problem with it since I created that video, which is up here. But what I'll do is I'll play you the clip of the problem in two seconds so you can get an idea for how that sounds. So yeah, that's not a great start in terms of sound. It doesn't, it hasn't happened since. I'm not too sure what's going on, but it seems to be okay now. There are a few other things that I'm getting fixed as well. I've highlighted to them. Uh, one of them is the lights. Um, so the lights for me aren't very bright at night unless they're on full beam. They seem to just point directly at the floor. Now I did speak to them a little bit about this on the phone and they said they can't do anything because they're not an MOT place. So I'm not sure that's gonna get solved uh, tomorrow. A few other things is the trim around the window. It's starting to peel away. Now that I've been told isn't covered under the warranty. However, I'm pretty sure other F-Type owners have had it covered under warranty. So comment, comment, let me know because I'm gonna need some help. In terms of the actual car and driving, I haven't really got any faults. Like I said, it's just that engine noise that's the issue. Now, another issue I keep having is loss, loss of pressure in the tires or at least that's what the computer tells me. Now, I, I think it's a faulty sensor, and I think it's this one. It, I've replaced them recently um, with Porsche tires, which brings it on to basically be a GT3. Um, but no, the sensor always goes off every now and then, um, but I don't think there's any problems with the tires because I've had it multiple times. I need them to have a look at that as well and see if it needs a new sensor. Again, I don't know if this is covered under warranty, um, now the warranty you pay for, once it goes past, it's like normal warranty period. So I think it's about a thousand a year. Um, mine is actually due for renewal. So I can renew it as long as I do it before the 30th of March. It'll cost me a thousand pounds. Comes with breakdown cover, but it does give me the warranty. Now, what that covers, I don't really know because so far my conversations with Jaguar are most of the stuff I've listed, the trim, the lights might not actually be covered. Now, I'm hoping the engine is, but again, I'm not too hopeful right now. In regards to other things, there actually isn't anything I can think of. I'm trying to think what I've listed to them as problems. Um, I said earlier there were things on the inside, but I don't think there is, other than the sensor, which is sort of more an outside thing, but it, it comes up on the screen. Um, I don't have any issues. The back spoiler, which is up here, because I've got the boot open for aesthetic purposes, nothing other than that. Um, does squeak when it comes up, but I, I honestly didn't. Now it's fine. Um, the reason it squeaks is probably because I'm not driving quick enough or often enough, because um, it's not going up and down very often. Uh, it comes on at 55 miles per hour and goes down at 50, no, in the back. It comes on at 70 ish and it goes down at 55. So uh, that gives you an idea of. Uh, speeds you have to do to raise and lower it if you don't have it as an option. When I first bought this, that was one of the things I wanted. I didn't want a fixed spoiler, but actually seeing fixed spoilers on the road, I kind of wish I did have that. Did, did have that, uh, but I don't know if it's just the grass is always greener scenario and you always want what you don't have. Uh, but, yeah. but anyway, other than that, I think that's about it. This wasn't going to be a long video at all. 
There are a few things changing on the car recently. I know I've spoken about this a million times, so if you've heard this a million times, I apologize. But yeah, the chrome is going, um, and it's gonna go black, including the one at the front, but there will be a bit of color coming too. Um, only a little bit of color, not going crazy. Um, as I mentioned, I've got a pretty big trip planned in June, and it's just making me get everything sorted that I've wanted to do kind of since I've had this car now. So again, really quick video. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, there are more videos coming. I'm freezing by now. Uh, so this is the commitment. It's also 35 minutes till the Formula One goes off. So I've done this in perfect time. I'm not going to edit it. In. Well, no, I might edit it while the Formula One's on. It depends how excited the race is going to be. It's the first race and I did miss quality. So i um, got a little bit to catch up on. But yeah. Other than that, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Just a quick video, and I'll catch everyone in the next video.